Hello beautiful souls, this is Ona, my channel is Art of Awakening and this video is going to be all about the Lion's Gate of 2021. Uh, we're going to look at what is the Lion's Gate, why is it so significant in 2021, what to expect and how to prepare for what's ahead. So if you are excited about this this whole landscape thing or want to find out more this is the place to be follow me i'm going to be sharing a lot of downloads that i've gotten personally from spirit as well as some specific inquiries when i went in and asked my akashic guidance and so some really exciting things i can't wait to share with you first of all i'm just going to share some of the downloads that i was given and then I'm going to follow up with exactly what my guides told me when I asked specific questions. So basically before we start that though, just to quickly define it, the Lionsgate is an astrological event. It happens every year right around August 8th and it marks the point in the year when Sirius, the star Sirius aligns with the sun. And it's called the Lion's Gate because this happens in the constellation of Leo or under the sign of Leo. Um, and in 2021, the actual sign of the Lion's Gate happens around the 6th or the 7th, depending on where in the world you are. But it's like right around that 6th, 7th to 8th, it's going to be the peak of it. The Lion's Gate portal actually opens on July 26th and goes all the way through through the August 12th. So we may be feeling these energies, these accelerated energies all through this time. And the numerology of 8-8, which is August 8th, is also in there. Um, and that's like a super powerful kind of abundance creative energy that goes along with it. So what's the big deal about the Lion's Gate energies? Oh, well... Sirius is the brightest star in the sky and it's also considered to be the spiritual sun and there's a lot of uh, kind of histories or mythologies around Sirius I'm not going to get into that but just know that it's a super super significant star and it's it's like it's illuminating the the spirit just as our physical sun illuminates the the physical earth so you can imagine the, the alignment between the sun and Sirius is a really significant event and a really powerful portal for spiritual energies to enter into the material plane and to affect kind of life on earth, right, every year. So last year I felt a lot about this and I did do a video last year if you want to check that out that may give you a little bit more information. Um, but this year I'm just doing this again. So why is the Lion's Gate of 2021 so specifically important? So I am really, really getting the strong feeling, and I have for months here, that this summer, including this whole eclipse season and summer solstice and all those energies that we just came out of, and including the Lion's Gate also in the 8-8 portal, it has been a real time of preparation for star seeds especially and it's a time this summer we're receiving a huge influx of light a lot of activation energy and that's here to really activate us in our inner power in really aligning with our higher selves and really bringing on or starting to embody that kind of Christos energy, right? The, the, the Christ consciousness. And it doesn't matter what, you know, spiritual tradition you follow. It's, this is just like the, the higher self coming in. And I'm really feeling that those of us who are called to be agents of change on the planet at this time, whether you call us light workers, the twin flame energy, star seeds, you know, if you're that, you will really resonate with this. Um, that we're really going to be called into strong, strongly into service this fall. And it feels like this particular lion's gate is really going to open the door to that. Like it's really the energy of that has been building for a long time, but it feels to me like this is really going to open the floodgates for having, you know, stepping into your power as a light worker, as a star seed, as somebody who's here to really help to orchestrate and to, you know, help this change happen, right? Um, 
And this timing could be a little bit different for everybody because everybody's got their own journey. Um, but I've really had a lot of strong feelings around the period of time around or shortly after the September equinox and that there would be a great need for light workers on the planet to start stepping into their full power. And so I'd love to talk about this concept of star seed for a little bit um, because it's I don't think it's a coincidence that we are entering the galactic year of the yellow electric seed and that happens the the first day of the the new galactic year actually coincides with the opening of the lion's gate on july 26th and yellow electric seed like i won't go into that because that's a whole different topic but just think of the energy of a seed and how a seed kind of breaks open cracks open it so it feels like this year and coming up right after this lion's gate is going to mean breakthrough for a lot of us. So again, that means different things for different people. And remember that in order to break through and grow, a lot of seeds, you know, a seed always needs to crack open and a lot of seeds need some kind of hardship in order to do that right sometimes they have to be exposed to fire sometimes they have to go into a deep freeze sometimes they have to actually pass through the belly like think of the belly of the whale usually it's a bird or something but they'll they'll kind of pass through that or maybe some scarifying right they may have to be roughed up in order to germinate and so some of some people some some star seeds on the planet a lot of us have already been through a lot of that kind of trial by fire but there's going to be star seeds out there still in dormancy who are even just just starting to awaken or are, are about to awaken right and this could be the year that awakens them so we may actually be seeing a lot of souls awakening on a much grander scale than we have in previous years and of course all of those are going to be like if you remember you might remember in your own awakening oh my god what's happening to me <laughs> right and so fortunately there's a lot more of us here on the planet that can help to explain what's happening and to help them guide them through this process um, for a lot of star seeds whether you've been awakened for years or just beginning your awakening process if you haven't been through it already this year may actually provide that trial by fire or trial by water or whatever it is that you need to activate you fully into your star seed potential so there's a potential for <laughs> you know kind of a trial kind of year for a lot of people not all um, for others, this may actually be the year that you are finally going to start to see things really open up for you, a time to really break through whatever has been limiting to you and really start to see things grow and bloom, whether it's in your relationships, in your career or business, or whatever other areas of your life you've been wanting to see things happen in. Okay, and so I... I remember there was a, a video that I did near the beginning of the year, I'll try to link it here, where it talks about, I was given this download about the trifurcation of humanity. And I know we were all in this bifurcation, but it really talked about humanity separating into three distinct groups. And one of which was those who are really kind of anchoring in the light right now and really have that energy fully and then of the other two there would be a group that would choose despair right that that really wouldn't kind of really wouldn't make it through this time and we're going to talk about some of these these downloads addresses that but then there was a third group and those are the ones that chose hope right and those are the ones that are going to make it through it and those are the, also the ones that are you know, the, either awakening star seeds or those who are maybe not star seeds, maybe earth seeds, but who are open to, you know, something in them is ready enough for change that with the guidance, the correct, proper guidance and the proper kind of love being held around them that they can actually make it through um, this time that we're in right now. Um, okay, so let me just kind of hand it over to my spirit guides because I asked some specific questions around the Lionsgate 2021 and I just want to share those with you. So the first thing I asked them was what is the Lionsgate portal and here's the answer I received. It is a point where the infinite enters the progression of time. The Lionsgate is a catalyst point in the year 
energies build to a high charge throughout the first part of the year, the Lion's Gate trigger, triggers a release of these energies, transforming potential energy into energy of action. Therefore, it can set into motion sequences, domino chains of cause and effect. And it especially enables the energies of dissolution, letting go of benevolent destruction. It's a benevolent energy, yet it can set into motion great destruction. So this is akin to the energy of Shiva destroying in order to clear the way for new creation. So the next question I asked was, what is the significance of Lionsgate 2021? Please explain the Lionsgate energies and what they mean for humanity at this time. It is a flood of cosmic heart energy you are receiving, dear ones, those of you who are open and willing and able to receive. The love frequency on your planet has just been stepped up and amplified. This is a very energizing energy and it will catalyze much activity in the coming weeks, months and years. The love frequency at this level is like a pure tone and will shatter that which is rigid in men's hearts. This will cause great discomfort to many and depending on their resilience and willingness to change, many will choose not to remain on the planet. But there is so much love being showered upon you at this time, dear ones. If you could only feel the magnitude of the field of love surrounding you, each and every one of you as individuals, in addition to the great love with which humanity itself is being cradled at the heart of all that is angelic. And then the third thing that I asked was, what specifically do I need to know and or share about the energies of Lionsgate 2021? And they said, we are entering a time of benevolent peace. It may not seem like it because whatever is not peaceful on this planet is being exposed and will be flushed out. It is imperative to hold that higher truth in your heart. Again, we are entering an age of benevolent peace. Those who are aware and can bear the weight of this new age upon their shoulders are being asked to keep this frequency like a sacred flame alive in their hearts, to embody it physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Do not succumb to urgency. There is no emergency that is more important than maintaining that vibration of benevolent peace in your heart and in your presence. There are things that will, tr will try to pull you from this energy. You must be the calm at the center of the storm. Keep your eyes fixed on the light above and on the horizon, for that new age is coming, and the one who holds the sacred flame of peace in their heart steadfastly, no matter what comes at them or befalls them or those around them, is the one who brings it to fruition. By your fruits shall you be known, light worker, by the strength of your faith, by the radiance of your heart, by the steadfastness of your gaze, by the peace in your soul. So there's a lot there. I actually put all this in a blog. Uh, so I'll link to that in the description below in case you want to read it. It might be helpful if you want to go over some of this again. Um, just a few takeaways from this. First of all, it's a great time of starseed activation and a big calling into service for those starseeds who are ready to actually um, step in and really assist right now in this this time of changing of humanity, right? There's going to be a lot of need for healing, for guidance, um, you know, for, for all that stuff. Even if you're not called to leadership, you are a leader on the planet just by being you, just by holding that presence, right? Um, that sacred flame of inner peace. So it's super, super important right now, and this is something I didn't mention, to stay in your truth because we're moving into a time where it's the cause and effect that they mentioned at the very beginning is going to be really accelerated, okay? So the more you can really tune into what's your truth, right? What's true for you? And to be holding your boundaries and to be maintaining your own, you know, being truthful to who you are, the time of just kind of moving, kind of bearing things because that's what 
because we're kind of afraid not to, that time is over, right? So this, this may be a time where you have this choice where you can actually step into your power and it may be challenging to do that. There's always resistance when we step into our power. But this is really asking all of us to hold to our inner truth and to really answer the call when our higher self is guiding us, right? Um, don't give in to urgency. That's is very clear and very explicit. There's going to be, okay, so what the matrix wants to do is always keep us in urgency, emergency mode, right? And this is because that is what triggers our fear reflexes and helps us to kind of go along with what we're, we're being manipulated into doing, right? Um, so manipulation really, really hinges on fear, which res reacts to urgency and emergency. So they're saying don't give in to urgency. Anytime you feel like you're being asked to act, then really feel into is this action in alignment with my higher self and my higher truth. And then finally to cultivate that inner peace is so important. Really, you know, it's, it is so important. It's probably the highest thing that we can do. And if if there's like, if everything kind of seems to be breaking down around you, you can always connect with spirit through that still point within, through that inner peace, that void point, and and to hold that vibration of inner peace, even if everything is falling apart. That is really the work right now, right? In addition to whatever active work you're being called to do. Okay, so this is, you know, super exciting that we, I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. We could be seeing hard times ahead. I think some of us already are, right? On some parts of the planet. Um, but honestly, this is what we're here for as starseeds, as light workers, And I really feel like this is an amazing time to be alive. So hang in there. Uh, keep up the joy, keep up the inner peace. That's what we're here for. So there's so much more about the Lionsgate that I could share. Watch for the next couple videos because I will be sharing more about the lion spirit animal as well as I've got a painting here of the lion that he really has to be painted. So I will be sharing downloads around that painting too and the messages that came in with him. So go ahead and subscribe if you would like to be updated about those. And remember, you were born to be free.